Okay, this is part two of our stem cutting videos. In the first video, we learned what was hardwood, semi-hardwood, or a tip, and we learned about where nodes were. So now we're going to use that knowledge to actually do a stem cutting. I've chosen, instead of the rose, we'll do rosemary later. I've chosen a Dix or a menthol plant. Again, just because it smells really nice. I have a good set of little shears here. And let's look at this. This is slightly different than the rosemary. Where our leaves are, are our nodes. And this is semi-hardwood. It's fairly flexible. It's not floppy and it's not rigid. Down here where there were leaves at one time, those are still perfectly good nodes. So now you take a stem cutting below a node. So I'm going to cut this one right here below those two leaves. And you'll want one or two nodes in the dirt and one above. With this type of large plant, I'm only going to worry about one node down and one node up. So I'm going to pull off the leaves, exposing the node and any other little plant that was started there. And then I'm going to go up here to the top and where these two leaves are, I'm going to cut it again above the node. So below the node for the root part, above the node for the top part. Were you able to see? Okay. So now you do not have to use rooting hormone, but it does improve your success rate. Rooting hormone. I like to write the date on. This is my example one, so you notice it's old. I, it, it's kind of expensive, so I don't like to waste it. It's a powder, and it fools the plant into believing that it should be rooting. And I always take it out of the jar and put it on something so I do not contaminate my rooting hormone. And this is a much easier surface to work on than trying to dip it in there. So I'm going to just press the plant into the rooting, at, get it on the node, tap off the excess, go over to my pot, use my handy dandy dibble pencil, hole poker, whatever you want to call it, make myself a good hole. If I just shove it in the dirt, it will knock off my rooting hormone. So by doing this and pushing the dirt towards the plant, I don't knock off that hormone. And there you go. That is a stem cutting. This one's it's sometimes good to do more than one per pot. So again, cut below for the rooting part, remove the leaves or anything else that's on that node, cut above, there's my node, dip it, tap it, Make a hole, put it in. You get all sorts of free plants. Even this old stem part, don't have to have leaves. If I cut below, go up a node, cut above.
Do you notice I just poked that one in? Bad, bad. Shame on me. I didn't put my make my make my hole first. So now I have three cuttings, stem cuttings, all done. They should work just fine. New leaves should start appearing out of here. New leaves will appear out of each one of these little leaves. If you have a very large leafed thing and you're worried about it uh, losing too much because it doesn't have any root, remember, you can even trim your leaves off like that. And there's plenty enough green on this for it to go ahead and manufacture food. Now you will put this cutting in a bright but not direct sunlight for it to grow and root. So now we've told that node, concentrate on rooting. We've cut away any tip growth or flowers because this, this will make it want to try to go to seed rather than, than go to rooting. So we have just it's sitting here now, it's going to grow its root. When it gets enough root, it will begin showing signs of growing a plant at these nodes that are above. And that's all there is to that type of stem cutting. Now, for something that doesn't have direct leaves, like our rosemary here, we want the soft wood, the flexible one, not the hard wood, not the tip. And again, we're going to cut below where there's a bunch of leaves. And we'll go up a ways and we'll cut above where there's a bunch of leaves. And I like to just go ahead and use my fingers and pull off. Now I've got several nodes exposed. Put the rooting hormone on it and bury them. You notice I did it right that time. That's all there is to something that has a lot of leaves on it like a rosemary. That's simple stem cuttings.